How's it going, Ruthless Church? This is Pedro, and I decided to make this video in the negative effect because, um, well, I guess I'm not really feeling negative, but I had an experience today that could have been considered somewhat negative, and uh, it was kind of interesting. Um, I, I, there was a people that visited church today. And um, you know how visitors come in, and then as soon as church is over, they're like, let me get out of here before these people start talking to me and trying to get me to become a deacon or the usher board or, like, being a choir, like, the first day that I came to church, right? So these people came to church, and they were on their way out. And these people happened to be of, um, like, an Asian ethnicity, right? So when they were walking out, I saw them doing the ceremonial, let me get out of church really quickly thing. And I was like, man, I wish the people didn't feel like they had to leave church so quickly afterwards because maybe, they, you know, they can sit there and, you know, get to know people a little bit. And I wish that people weren't um, always trying to, like, jump on people and try to get them to join or be on a board, like, so quickly, you know. And then for some reason, I took it upon myself as whatever, I don't know what I was thinking in the moment, but I was like, I want them to feel welcome, and I so happen, the church that I'm with, there's not very much uh, people that are from other cultures, you know, there's, it's a predominantly white church, and so in my mind, I'm thinking in some kind of solidarity, I might be able to make them feel more welcome, but then I so happen to be black, so I thought, okay, well, maybe that won't mean anything. But I happen to speak Mandarin. I don't know if you guys knew that, but Wahui Shuo Zhongwen, whatever. It means I, I speak Chinese. Not a big deal. But anyway, in that moment, I thought, <laughs> I, saw, I thought the people were Chinese for some reason. And uh, they weren't. And I said, when I, I said, oh, uh, nice to see you. Um, you know, I hope that we see you again. And I was trying to think of things to get them to stick around for a few minutes just to not like bounce as soon as church was over. And they kind of feel some kind of connection. And I said, oh, where are you from? And they were like, oh, we're from, you know, this town, Westboro. And I was like, oh, I was hoping that they would say, well, I'm from wherever. So that I wouldn't mistakenly assume. Because I've learned before not to make those kinds of assumptions. But, you know what they say about assuming. So I tried a couple other things. And I was like, oh, you know, um, how long have you been in Westboro? Uh, trying to get them to say something like, oh, we came from here to here. Because they clearly had act, like, pretty strong accents. And usually I'm pretty good about detecting accents um, because I've been around it. But I said, oh, so I, then I said um, something to the effect of like, oh, I've been studying, uh, I've studied Mandarin or something like that. Uh, do you guys happen to speak Chinese? And then they said, no, we're Korean. And then you could feel like the uncomfortable feeling come on. And it was like kind of negative. And I felt like, woo, awkward. You know what I'm saying? I felt like this like little like tingles in my body. Like, man, you are... <laughs> I felt like how some people feel, probably feel, when they say something to me like, so what do you guys think about this? And they mean like black people or whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, I was like, that could have been taken very negatively. And I was like, kind of like, whoops, my bad. And I apologized and said, excuse me, I'm sorry for that. It shouldn't have been presumptuous or whatever the case may be. And they were gracious enough and said, oh, thank you, thank you. But they were like, let us get out of here. We're trying to get out of here. And I... I had to, like, the way my brain works, I'm like, how can I turn this seemingly negative into a positive? And so I said, well, what can I learn from it? And I sat with that uncomfortable feeling, and, uh, you know, I acknowledged it. I was quite ignorant and, uh, and quite foolish in, in that particular moment. And I pray to God that I learn something from it, and I won't make the same mistake twice. But also, I thought about, usually I'm not the person that jumps on people, but this time I was. And I started thinking about my own selfish reasons for doing that, um, you know, which, you know, they are what they are. But at any rate, what I got out of it was, you know, we all make errors. Obviously, I know that. And, um, but we can very quickly turn a negative into a positive if we're open to just admitting that we made a mistake, um, trying to learn from that mistake, and then also trying to help people uh, be bettered because of that mistake that we've made. And there's actually... Um, this story about David, um, if anybody knows from the, from, um, the Old Testament, that David was, uh, he was, you know, God's beloved and everything, but he did some whack stuff, one of which was he set up this dude named Uriah so that he could take his wife, 
you know, that's some real whackness. But at any rate, um, Samuel, I believe it was Samuel, um, said some stuff to him about, or one, at least one of the God, people of God, but I'm pretty sure it was Samuel, said some things to him about what he did, but he basically talked about somebody else. He's like, oh, this guy did this, and, and he took the guy's wife or something of that effect, or took something that belonged to the guy. And David was like, oh, he's so wrong, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then um, he's like, we, you know, we should punish that guy. And then Samuel basically was like, hey, I'm glad you think that way because guess what? You did that. And then David was like, whoa. And he realized that. And, he, you know, he felt um, he repented within himself because he made that error. But in making that error, he grew in wisdom when he was able to admit it, that he made that mistake. And other people were able to benefit from that error. And if you read in um, the Psalms of David, there's so many times that David's pretty much just calling himself out for not being so bright, not making so many decisions, but being aware that God loves him no matter what. And that in all of that, there's this opportunity to grow. And I think by David being vulnerable and putting himself out there after he made his error and things of that nature, a lot of people benefited from that. So hopefully um, some of you guys benefit from my error that I made today and turn a negative into a positive and see that there, there's always opportunities for that. So I uh, appreciate you listening. And uh, hopefully I learned from my mistake. And uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this. Take care. Peace.